Well, they, they need it now more than ever. We, we need them. Other, other states have nuclear weapons. Other states are trying to develop nuclear weapons. And there is always, thirdly, the risk that a state developing nuclear weapons might give that nuclear weapon to a terrorist organization. So the end of the Cold War does not mean the end of the need for, for the nuclear deterrent. Far from it. I want to come on to whether Trident is fit for purpose uh, anymore in a moment. But let's just stick with this idea that you have to have a nuclear weapon. Germany doesn't have a nuclear weapon. It's under the same threat as us. But it's within the nuclear umbrella of NATO. So are you. They live within the protection of those countries. So France, are you. yes, and but France, the United States, and ourselves have nuclear weapons. The rest of NATO enjoys the protection that that gives. And by the way, a number of their air forces, of course, are uh, committed and ready to be able to carry nuclear weapons. But if anyone attacked Germany or threatened Germany, you're suggesting that NATO, but particularly America, would come to their aid. Yes, the point of the, the NATO alliance is we would all come to each other's aid uh, in the event of an armed attack on one another. That's the whole purpose of NATO. But the same would go. We don't have to have a NATO weapon to be protected by and attacked on our behalf by America, do we? No, but we do have nuclear weapons. We can't disinvent them. We happen well, we can. to have. No, we can't. We happen to have nuclear weapons. And uh, by stopping having nuclear weapons, we'd be sending out a signal to the rest of the world that um, we're not prepared to continue as part of that nuclear alliance anymore. Can you see any scenario, if we didn't have nuclear weapons, that America wouldn't come to our aid? Well, we'd certainly be a much weaker part of NATO if we decided to go off and disarm unilaterally. Why should the United States defend the rest of Europe when it's not prepared to um, defend itself? Why would they? So you think there is a scenario in which a Britain without a nuclear weapon could be left high and dry by America? Well, we would certainly be downgraded by America. America would be bound to ask questions why it should defend Europe if Europe is not prepared to defend itself. Well, let's talk specifically about Russia. Um, is Vladimir Putin in this incarnation more dangerous than he was the last time around? Well, we've seen, we've seen something we didn't think, I didn't think would happen again in my lifetime. We've seen him trying to change international borders by force in Europe, by annexing the Crimea, by his aggression in the Ukraine. We've seen intimidatory uh, long-range aviation around the edges of our airspace, around the edges of the, the Baltics and Norway. And we've seen a, an increase in submarine activity. And we see him modernizing his conventional weapons and his nuclear weapons. If he's modernizing his nuclear weapon, he's threatening all of us, frankly, and that's why we have to keep uh, the nuclear and conventional weapons that, that we have. Let's talk about what kind of nuclear weapon. Do we need this nuclear weapon? Do we need Trident? Do we need to continue thinking about the Moscow criterion? We looked into all of this, and to have nuclear weapons carried by airplanes, of course, makes them much more uh, overt and obvious. They're more easy to, to track, and indeed, they're more expensive. But do we need, I mean, we don't need to hit Moscow. I mean, it's a city of 12 million souls. You could hit St. Petersburg. Well, I'm not going to go into the targeting of our um, nuclear weapons at the moment. Um, we're not aiming them at uh, Russian cities. But the whole purpose of having nuclear weapons is that any of our adversaries, whether they're rogue states or those countries that have nuclear weapons at the moment, uh, should be left unsure as to the precise circumstances in which we would fire them. The problem is that the, the people in the United Kingdom think broadly that ISIS is a threat. Now, we've got the capability to hit a jeep with m huge precision, hmm. and we've got the capability to flatten a city. But right now, with fewer than 100 cruise missiles, we do not have the ability to mount another conventional war, a Gulf War, for example. That oh, we do have conventional forces. We don't have enough. Oh, we certainly do. We're increasing our uh, defence. Uh, in the last uh, strategic review, we are expanding our expeditionary force from 30,000 to 50,000. We could certainly mount a gold, Gulf War operation again because we're building up our armed forces. We're increasing the size of them and the power of them. Last year, the cost of replacing the four subs rose by another six billion. It sits at 31 billion, and suddenly there's another 10 billion for cont contingencies. So suddenly we're at 41 billion pounds to replace these submarines. Does it actually matter what the cost is? You're going to do it anyway. Oh, the cost is important. We need to get good value for money for this. It's a big program. Can you guarantee that that uh, would not go up 
the 31 billion between now and you putting all this uh, into practice or before Parliament, I should say? Well, I hope we won't be using the contingency and we're setting up a new delivery body to deliver these submarines to budget, to timetable. So the 41 billion, including the contingency, 31. plus so the contingency. If you need it. If you need it. So it's 41 billion, billion if, you need it. if you need it, is ring fenced. Uh, absolutely. It's part of our equipment programme. It's built in to the Ministry of Defence budget. But for people who are hard pressed and worried about hospitals, schools and whatever, they want to know, presumably, if indeed they support this, that the cost isn't going to spiral and it's not going to be at the expense of conventional forces. Well, it isn't. Uh, it's around 6% of the defence budget in a normal year. The Defence Select Committee says get on with it. Have the debate. If you don't make the decision in 2016, what happens? We want Parliament to endorse the decision to have a continuous at sea deterrent and to deliver it through four boats. We want that decision this year uh, so that Parliament is behind it. Minister, thank you very much.